Texas. Well, the borderland has been soaked with rain over the past few weeks, which means lots of standing water and mosquitoes. ABC 7's Sam Harris-Simowitz has tips you need to know to stay safe, to stay safe rather, from West Nile virus. With all the rain that we've gotten across the borderland over the last few weeks, it can leave standing water, which can bring mosquitoes and mosquito-borne illnesses. Last week, the city of El Paso confirmed the first cases of West Nile virus of the year. One case was a man with no underlying health conditions in his 60s in the 79932 zip code, and the other was a woman in her 80s with underlying health issues, and she lived in the 79936 zip code. In 2021, El Paso had 18 confirmed cases, with two of them being fatal. I spoke to Dr. Ogachika Alozi, and he says that mosquitoes are more common in some areas of the borderland than others. Now, if you look at the El Paso area, where we see this a lot is in the upper valley, lower valley sometimes as well, but it's where there's a lot of green and there's a lot of water. Even though severe cases of West Nile virus are extremely rare, the symptoms of a serious case can be devastating. Polio-like symptoms where they lose function of their lower limbs. They can have immense fatigue and lethargy. They can have what's called like a meningitis-like picture, headache and neck stiffness. The city of El Paso released safety tips called the four Ds. DEET, wear insect repellent containing the chemical DEET or other protected chemicals. Dress, making sure to wear long sleeves, long pants and socks when outdoors. Dawn and dusk, trying to avoid being outside at these hours of the day, which is when mosquitoes are most active, and drain, removing standing water when you find it in order to slow down mosquito breeding in your area. And Dr. Alozi made sure to stress just how important these safety tips are. If dawn and dusk, D&D, &D, like Dungeons and Dragons, are the main times that mosquitoes are out and about, wear protective clothing, wear mosquito repellent, and if you can, drain stagnant water around your home. And if you're looking for more information, we have a link on our website, kvaa.com, to the CDC's information on tips and safety regarding West Nile virus. Reporting in central El Paso, I'm Sam Harris-Simowitz, ABC7.